Good morning and welcome to TWEC Morning Devotion. We thank God for the gift of life, love, hope, grace and mercy. We thank God for protecting us through the night. We thank God for His grace that is sufficient for us. Today's devotion is taken from Galatians 5, 22-23 that says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. So today's question to you is, what's in your fruit bowl? As human beings, we are made up of a mind, body, soul, and spirit, and we know that for our bodies to be healthy, it is recommended that we include a fruit as part of our meals, especially at breakfast. Also, it is recommended that if we are having fruit, that we eat the fruit first before the main meal to ensure proper digestion. We eat different fruits as each fruit provides a different nutrient and vitamin to our body. So just as the natural fruit helps to maintain a healthy physical body, we also need to maintain a healthy mind, soul and spirit. And there's no better way to start your breakfast than with a bowl of fruit. So let's prepare our natural and spiritual fruit bowls. You need two bowls, one for your natural fruit and the second bowl for your spiritual fruit. In your natural fruit bowl, add the fruits that you normally eat, whether it is an apple, banana, grapes, pawpaw, melon, etc. And in your spiritual fruit bowl, Add a slice of love to keep your heartbeat close to God's heartbeat, a scoop of joy to enjoy God's presence, a heaping scoop of peace to remain centered on God as you journey through the trials and tribulations of life. Add a slice of gentleness and goodness sprinkled with meekness and seeds of faith topped with a large slice of temperance for the long-suffering journey of following Jesus. So I want you to know that as you enjoy and eat your natural fruit bowl, it may change from day to day, whereby you may have only a banana today, and the next day you may have an apple and banana and so on. However, as you embrace and understand your spiritual fruit bowl, you must accept that it never changes. Every day, you must have a slice of love, a scoop of joy, an extra scoop of peace, a slice of gentleness and goodness, sprinkled with meekness and the seeds of faith, a large slice of temperance and long-suffering before you start your day. So I encourage you to make your natural and spiritual fruit bowls a part of your daily breakfast to boost your spiritual, emotional, physical and mental well-being. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Shalom.